Uh, Kim is on the line from Massachusetts at the other end of the country. Hi, Kim. How are you? Fine. What's your question? Um, we have three farm ponds on this property that we bought about two years ago. We've cleaned two of them up um, and stocked them with some uh, koi to eat the algae, and we have some bass, and then we, we bought an actual kit from a hatchery that has a, a whole variety of little fish, and they're all growing at the same point. The third pond is the pro pond we have a problem with. It's, it has duckweed, somebody told us. Um, and we haven't really done anything as far as fish go, so we're not sure if there's any fish in it. But we do have a couple of belted galloways that um, kind of walk through it and, you know, maybe drink out of it, although they have a water source anyway. So we don't want to put something in it to kill the duckweed, but to affect our cattle either. I mean, cattle, we don't have a big ranch. We just have two cows. But <laughs> we don't want it, you know what I mean? We, we don't want it to, to affect the animals that sure. are drinking out of it. All right. Well, Mark? Duckweed is, uh, if it truly is duckweed, um, it, it should be a small disc that's on the surface of the water. Is that and what if, you've seen, Cam? And, and if you look little at it, you should it see... It almost looks like um, just like little, little, little tiny green spots. And if you would look at an individual one, you'd see roots usually hanging down below. Mm -hmm. And they're actually um, living off the nutrients in the water column, right. which means you have a very... A fertile body of water, uh, what's called a eutrophic pond. And uh, really the cure, um, uh, you know, if you don't want to, and I would not recommend you get into uh, pest or herbicides or, or so forth, really the cure at that point becomes uh, to clean the pond up, to make it less fertile, um, which uh, typically would be uh, draining the pond and probably digging out some of the sediment that's and uh, so forth. The, the, probably the agricultural waste, the, right. the, um, uh, the manure from the cattle and so forth over years and years and years uh, have just resulted in a very fertile body of water. Eutrophic? That's it. <laughs> that That's the opposite <laughs> of oligotrophic. He has been to college and beyond.